on board your board. Let's get this over with. <laughs> well, look who's here. New recruits. Well, <laughs> let's fuck some shit up. You'll never be able to defend yourself if you can't go up against your old man. Well, you have more experience and a lot more muscle mass than me. What? How come I can't just learn magic like Mom and Kira? Because magic takes a toll on you after so long and... At the very least, you won't have to rely on it if you can use your fist instead. So, let's go again. So she... What? Come on, he has to learn something besides magic. Come on. Yes, he does, but... <laughs> Well, if you keep doing this, he's in the going hate, hating uh, your lessons. You already hate my lessons. The very least I'm going to teach him how to survive out here. Just because he was born and being raised here doesn't mean he's ready. You are fortunate. Let's see if you understand how lucky we are compared to our predecessors. The ones who came before us. They didn't ha have the same abilities as we do. They weren't ready for what was coming their way. They weren't ready for the acid pits, the living forest, any of that. But they survived. And that was without magic. That just came a lot later. I know you don't like strength training, but believe me, you're going to need it one of these days. <sighs> oh, so, did you beat him up already? I, I'm kidding, Dad. Don't worry about it. <sighs> if anything, my little brother does need to toughen up a bit more before he can really use magic. But how come you get to learn magic? One, I'm older than you. Two, I've already been through Dad's hillist training. So, yeah. That's another point for me. I'll have to go through that hell again. Uh, wait, really? Yes, of course I trained her. The same way I trained you. Why? Because she's my kid and I can raise her however I want. Just because she, your older sister doesn't mean she just hopped to magic. She had the... <laughs> Duh. Besides, it wouldn't be fair if I only, if I didn't treat you guys the same way, or at least similar. Like, if I gave her special treatment, that's, that's not really fair to you, and vice versa. Huh. Alright, <clears throat> time to go for a dip. What? Oh yeah, he's going to take you to the acid pits. What? <laughs> yeah, we have to build up our tolerance. What? Don't worry, your mom can heal you afterwards. <laughs> mom, he's, she's, they're kidding, right? You go, just, don't worry. As soon as you come back, I'll heal you. You so it won't leave any scars. <laughs> is this gonna hurt? Oh yes, it is. 
it is it is no doubt indubitably it's gonna hurt dad don't worry Izuku it's just a uh, acidic pool in which it can eat away at your flesh and bones until there's nothing left Alright, splash some water in his face. He fainted. Pussy. Hey. That's not nice. You, you didn't handle it very well either. Did you faint twice? Uh. Oh, come down. Yusuke was unconscious. He wouldn't, he wouldn't even hear you if you wanted to. Seriously, it's bad enough where it comes to Shao Kahn. You're still on that, huh, Dad? He and the previous Emperor. It's not right. One of us should run everything we we've been here they where have they been while we were struggling to survive it, <clears throat> Khan didn't even have the decency to to give him a fair fight he poisoned him <sighs> these are such dirty tactics Where's that water? <laughs> what? Oh. Hey. I had a horrible dream that you would take me like... Yeah, 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 no, don't worry about it. Come on, come with me. Oh, where are we going? The acid pits. <laughs> it wasn't a dream! No! Let me go! Let me go! I really don't want to... Don't worry. We have sl uh, slight resistance to it already, so it won't be nearly as bad. Excuse me? Oh, yes. Heck, my father do done this with me and, and his father before him, and so on and so forth. This is a tradition. No, no. Show him. As they take a cup of acid, just pouring it on Kira's arms. Doesn't that hurt? It tingles. I'm not completely immune to it, as you can see, it starts to seep deeper into her flesh, and she just ugh, waves it off. Mom. You can heal yourself now, plus you need to practice. Damn it! Her healing herself, but it's not perfect. Her's like, oh God, this is gonna leave a scar. Well, it just means you need more practice. <sighs> Seriously, Dad? Your brother's right. No. Gummies are good. I still don't. Oh, Tell you what. If you can go. I'll tell you a funny story. If you go through with this. Willingly go through with this. What kind of story? It's an embarrassing story of your sister. Deal! Embarrassment as a bargaining chip. Can't I? I, I? I'm your parent. That's that's one of the best things. That's the best one of the best weapons we have against our children. Uh, yeah, we can embarrass the hell out of you as much as we want. 
It ain't child abuse. I I got no dog in this fight, but I wonder what he's going to tell me. You asshole! Me or Dad? Both of you? Three of you? Huh? She's upset. How would you feel if someone used your burst for the burning chip? Hmm. Yes. I guess I would be upset. All right. Uh, let's go. I, I, I want to get this over so I can hear the story. Are you really going to tell him? Well, if he willingly goes through with it. What are the odds of that? As he willingly goes through with it. It's like, damn. I was really hoping you'd be too scared. But, but what? I, I slicked it while I had to tell you an embarrassing story of your sister. What the, well, you have to now. Come on, the deal's a deal. Oh, right, all right. Um, uh... Upon hearing one of her embarrassing stories, Izuku is slapping his ass off. But then he's just like, oh, I'm a little disappointed. I was hoping for something more more juicy than that, but it's fine. I suppose. But this is when they notice something feels off. What was it? Nothing. It's just it's almost like something's something's here with us. Something's watching us. I'm not sure if I like it. Uh okay. You hear that? Uh, I Focus your ears. It's, it sounds like an animal. Yeah. Probably nothing, but you run along. I'll, I'll see if our visitor holds any ill will towards us. Is this cool heading home while he hears Zashi? Pretty much fighting something. Him not knowing what, but all you know, it's like, yeah, uh, this was not your lucky day, poor beast. As now we cut to a 10 year old Izuku. He's more built than pretty much anyone should be at that age. He's. Is it finally time? Yes, you have graduated from my type of training for now, until I deem it necessary for you to continue it. However, don't think my training was hell compared to your magic studies. Believe me, it is no cakewalk. Huh? Let's just say you're going to miss the training I had for you. Uh, him looking at his sisters like, yeah, mom's a even more straight t teacher than he is considering magic's drawbacks. Mom, him looking as she's like, Ah, uh, please don't hate me after this. By the very least, by the time when I'm done, you'll be able to heal whatever wounds you sustain. Yeah, Izuku is now terrified. His first lesson is sensing mana. 
getting a feel for it. But she doesn't introduce him to it by actually allowing him to feel it or at least feel hers. He has to stay still in a meditative stance for hours, days, until he actually feels, at least gets a sense of mana. Once he does, he sees a say it's like a painting of vibrant colors uh, that's just all around him. He loves it, but it's also a way. Okay, I did it. Now what? Now you learn how to harness and use it. Oh, okay. That's, that's easy. Uh, ha, ha. Oh, oh, you poor naive fool. Huh? Just because you know... At least, you know, mana <sighs> does not mean you know how to use it. As his mom, at least, you go, know, let's just get it over with, just summons a fireball. Only thing is, it changes colors from orange to red green, even flashes black, until, yeah, it's a blue flame. Zuku just, oh, wait, wait, let me, let me try that, I wouldn't, why not? Because to get your fire this potent, you're going to need a lot more training. Yeah, even I can't do that. What? Oh yeah. D did you did you think as soon as you uh, learn how to sense mana and whatever that you be able to what just fly around and all that BS? Well, I well, no, I, I I just assumed you know, you assumed wrong. <laughs> think of it like this, bro. Um, mana is unpredictable. Think of it like f fire itself. Beautiful, but it's also dangerous. It, if you're not careful, it can uh, be from a small flicker to a complete and total wildfire. Uh, so what you're saying is, well, if you are not prepared for a certain type of magic or spell, it could actually kill you. What? This is why me and you went under such rigorous training under Dad first. We need strong bodies to help us with our magic as well. Huh? Magic will destroy your body if your body is not prepared for it, as well as if you don't have the knowledge and know-how, which is pretty much what mom is trying to teach you. So I need a strong body and a strong mind, yes. Oh. So, uh... What can you do? Right now I can make an orange just red this flame. It's nothing special, but for at least Oh, I also can make healing flames. At least by now I can. Still I I wish Mom could have healed my arm that day. This scar is not cute. Huh. So did you ever ask that boy out? <laughs> I want to kill you, but you're my little brother, so I would feel bad afterwards. Them, but considering how much of an ass you're being, I think I'll get over it rather quickly. 
either way. Here. Try... Try controlling this flame. Her just taking out a candle. What do you mean control it? Try to use your mana to manipulate it. How long is this going to take? That depends on you. Good luck.